so today we will learn about how to do a maxillary second molar heart shape okay heart shape it typically looks like a heart shape normally if you see the first molar it has this kind of a shape okay this is the first molar okay this is first molar this is mesial mesial distal developmental groove this is the palatal developmental groove okay so this is palatal buccal mesial and distal okay so first you have to do the basic anatomy here then this will be your the buccal developmental groove which enters into the mesial palatal cusp to make a steward groove so this becomes steward groove here okay continuation in the buccal developmental groove so this will be your oblique ridge this will be transverse ridge now in second molar if i consider second molar yes more obtuse angle and more acute angle okay mesial distal it is not wider than the this is mesial this is distal this is less wider than the bucco palatal okay same thing will be here this is central groove we have a triangular fossa here palatal developmental groove grows and join into the distal triangular fossa buccal developmental groove enter here okay and it gives a steward groove here like this okay so same thing will be here this is the transverse ridge and this is the oblique ridge now consider distal palatal cusp is not there in the heart shape okay heart shape molar now consider this part now i'll show you how to go for that now consider this is your the normal tooth of a maxillary second molar okay the same thing you have to draw here this is your triangular groove triangular uh, fossa this is central groove this is your distal palatal cusp these are the buccal developmental grooves like this okay then what this part you remove it okay this is de this developmental groove is little prominent this is buccal developmental groove is little prominent so you have a v shape notch here and this appears to be like this understood so automatically the shape will be like this this is our obtuse angle here okay so this is palatal will become obtuse here and here the cusp is not there distal palatal cusp is not there so you will have a depression there like this okay so this becomes your oblique ridge and this becomes your transverse ridge okay so you will have a oblique and transverse ridge so this makes an hard shape tooth okay so i'll just show you how to go for it this is the normal thing normal carving here 